Welcome to the Virtual Job Tryout tutorial series brought to you by Shaker University. In this tutorial, we'll answer your question, why does the virtual job tryout work for hiring managers like me? And by the end, you'll be able to describe how it's created and how to know if it's right for your job openings. VJTs are created using a scientific process that documents job demands through formal job analysis and in-depth study of the target position. The development process culminates in a multi-method assessment that delivers a distinctive applicant experience. It engages, educates, and evaluates. This approach requires great care in defining and assessing competencies critical for success. VJT is founded on evidence-based practices. Before a VJT is used with applicants, the scoring is calibrated to on-the-job performance with what is called a criterion-related validation analysis. This means a number of clients each provided job performance metrics for a large group of current employees who also have completed the VJT. A validation analysis then documents how responses to the VJT relate to on-the-job performance. This evidence-based approach ensures the VJT is accurate at predicting job performance. Shaker documents these validation analyses findings in detailed technical reports. This scientific approach to scoring applicant responses to the VJT allows you to rank applicants, compare applicants to the job requirements, and clearly see differences from one applicant to another. How do you know whether a VJT is right for your position? VJTs are developed for specific job families. Test manuals provide specific details about what each VJT measures. Shaker recommends you review the manual to ensure your position is substantially similar to the position for which the VJT was developed. Shaker has spent over a decade developing and refining the predictive capabilities of the VJT. As such, VJT scores are strong indicators of an applicant's potential for superior job performance. The relationship between the VJT overall performance score and on-the-job performance is very significant. To provide a frame of reference, this chart shows the strength of relationships in the context of more ordinary matters. For example, you can see in the chart that using a nicotine patch has a weak relationship at 0.12 to success in quitting smoking, while the stress test has a strong relationship at 0.58 with detecting coronary artery disease. This chart shows the strength of the relationship between common hiring procedures and on-the-job success. Years of education at 0 0.10 show very weak relationships to job success. Unstructured interviews and reference checks typically have a marginally stronger value in evaluating applicants for job fit. Other assessment methods such as personality questionnaires, work history or biodata questions, and simulated work tasks have stronger relationships in predicting on-the-job success. The VJT is a multi-method evaluation that includes all of these assessment types in one seamless experience. This multi-method evaluation generates a strong prediction of an applicant's potential for success. However, no hiring tool is a crystal ball. To make a precision hiring decision, it's important to integrate what you learn from the VJT with job fit evidence obtained from your structured behavioral interview and other relevant applicant data. The quality of hiring decisions can be improved when supported with the robust and objective data from VJT. The next module addresses setting up the VJT administration site. Please take time to watch that video too.